I was doing some measurements on my Papilio Pro and there's a few things that uh, you can see while uh, probing uh, higher frequencies. At the moment I am probing the clock frequency of uh, the Papilio and that's 32 MHz and you can see that the clock doesn't look like a square wave at all. And I'm using a quite naive way to, uh, to probe the clock. So I have this uh, earth clip earth loop uh, attached to the ground of uh, the Papilio and uh, a jumper wire to uh, port A0 and that gives me a quite ugly display. If I would measure uh, the rise time of my signal, let's have a look here, rise time, uh, I see uh, 9.6 nanoseconds and the clock doesn't look too beautiful. Let's show a cursor here uh, in auto mode so we can see how it's measuring this. Uh, we can see that it's taking 10% and 90% of the rise time and this is then the measurement that you see here. But let's now try to uh, improve our measurement method and do some decent probing. And to improve that probing I'm going to use uh, a small device that I've made myself. A small spring, it's just a single stranded uh, wire that I've, ra that I've wound uh, around a drill bit. Uh, a drill bit that's just slightly smaller than uh, my probe here. And the purpose of this, uh, uh, this spring is to put it here on the ground part of the probe and to be able to directly, directly probe into this bus. Uh, putting the ground in here, the spring, and then the pin of the probe in A0. So this is how my probing device looks like when the spring is mounted on the probe. It's touching the ground part here, the ground part of the probe, and now we'll put uh, it into the into the headers like this. That's it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but the spring is now inserted into the ground uh, part of the header and my probe is in uh, the pin A0 which is the output of my FPGA clock here so let's have a look at what the scope says and that's much better right you see a 3.6 uh, nanosecond uh, rise time and you see something that actually looks like a square wave so the way you probe does make a big difference uh, the, uh, certainly the ground loop wire here has a big influence on how the measurements look on your scope.